Roy Keane has questioned whether Dan Ashworth would remain loyal to Manchester United amid the club's ongoing pursuit of their prospective new sporting director. United have been heavily linked with a move for Ashworth with incoming investor Sir Jim Ratcliffe, a known admirer of the Magby's recruitment chief. Manchester World understands the club are willing to wait for their primary target and will not come close to paying the £10 million fee that has been reported. Ashworth has quickly risen into prominent roles with Premier League clubs, enjoying continued success at Brighton and Hove Albion, before being hired by Newcastle in 2022. The 52-year-old is yet to inform the Magbies of his desire to stay in the North East and could be open to a move. That rise through two different clubs has been hugely impressive, but former United midfielder Keane believes it should also act as a warning to Ratcliffe, suggesting they could be put in Newcastle's position in the future. He doesn't hang around does he? I'm not sure loyalty is on the top of his list, Keane told Stick to Football. He left Brighton for Newcastle, and now in only two years he's jumping to join United. You have to look at that side of the personality as well. No doubt he is brilliant at his job, but who's to say in a year and a half he might want to go to Real Madrid or Barcelona? As of yet, no approach has been made for Ashworth but United are thought to be preparing an official proposal. Ratcliffe wants the meeting to end as soon as possible to give him enough time to prepare for the busy summer transfer window, but he will also be patient if necessary. Newcastle will try to make it as difficult as possible for United to find the player and are likely to demand the aforementioned fee, along with extended gardening leave. On Friday, Magby's boss Eddie Howe admitted such speculation surrounding a non-playing member of his staff was an unusual situation but he was concerned about the prospect of losing Ashworth. He said, at some stage, a line has to be drawn, and things have to move forward. This is not my decision. I can't control it, he said. Obviously this has been in the news a lot, and usually something like this means something is going to happen. But now I haven't contacted anyone. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the latest Manchester United.